Hi, my name is Javarius Gilmore. I'm the creator and author of This One's For You, a uh, jazz and blues blog. I recently uh, wrote a article uh, that you can find in the uh, link description below about how to start your own jazz and blues record collection. And I decided to make this video to include some topics that uh, I didn't uh, include in the article and uh, answer some frequently answered questions that uh, new listeners have about uh, trying to find new artists in jazz and blues. Um, so one of the tips that I didn't include uh, in the article was uh, learning how to listen. And Abby Lincoln has a, a great song uh, entitled Learning How to Listen. But uh, what I mean by that is sort of uh, appreciating the genre uh, that you sort of pick. It's sort of preparing yourself uh, for what you want to hear. Uh, so that means if you want to get into early blues, you'll hear a lot of uh, brass bands, uh, static records uh, with hiss and pops and cracks. Uh, just due to the remastering technology that they had in the 60s. Uh, and then there's just some of the weird instrumentation. Uh, for example, uh, Henry Thomas uh, uses a, a quill, which is an ancient uh, instrument uh, that dates back to Africa, or uh, Tampa Red often uses a kazoo, which was a favorite of, of country blues musicians, and he actually solos with a kazoo a lot. Uh, and then, you know, you just sort of have to learn to appreciate the era. Mono versus stereo records. Some digital records aren't converted uh, from mono to stereo. Uh, and if you are buying a record that's from a specific artist, I would recommend that you always get the remastered version. There's only a couple exceptions of where I would say you should probably spring for the mono version. And that's if, uh, say it's a uh, double billing. And what I mean by double billing is that you have two main attractions. Like uh, a good example would be a Booker Urban uh, book, the book hooks. Uh, with that one, he's paired with the tenor great Zoot Sims. Uh, a better example would be uh, uh, Set in the Pace, Booker Urban uh, and Dexter Gordon, they did an album together or take Sonny Stitt and Gina Ammon's album together. If you can't tell the difference between Sonny and Gene or Dexter and Booker, then that's where the mono would benefit you because uh, they, they share a track. So Booker would be in the left track, Dexter would be in the right, or Sonny Stitt would be in the left track, and then Gene would be in the right. However, in the stereo, they're kind of both uh, in both ears, so if you, you don't have an, uh, an advanced enough ear, you won't be able to tell who's who. So that's all the time I have for, for this blog post. Uh, this is the first video, and it most likely won't be the last video. So there'll just be some different time in between um, before you know the next video uh, is posted. Uh, I appreciate all the people who share my articles on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, for those of you who've left comments and those of you who've read, uh, it, it means a lot, and I hope you guys watch the video, uh, comment uh, on you know some albums that you found, or any questions that you may have. I'll be happy to answer uh, in the uh, comment box below. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.